Hello, good evening. <laughs> Welcome. How is everyone tonight? I'm David Spellman, the artistic director of the New York Guitar Festival, and um, thank you all for coming. If you perhaps have uh, one of these, it would be a great time to silence it. Um, the New York Guitar Festival has been working with WNYC since we first began in 1999, and it's been a wonderful long collaboration, and we are grateful to Laura Walker, John Schaefer, WNYC donor, listener, members, and of course to the Jerome L. Green Foundation, um, where we have been doing events here in the green space for a few years now, and we hope this tradition continues. Over the years, the New York Guitar Festival has had a number of guest performer curators who not only play on the festival, but also help us make selections of artists. And tonight we have a great guest curator in Fabi Reina, who you will all be meeting and hearing and learning a little bit about her and She Shreds magazine. So I think that's about it. Thank you all for coming. And uh, without any further ado, please help me welcome John Schaefer to the stage. Thanks, David, and thanks to all of you for uh, coming to the green space this evening, and those of you who are watching at home, um, welcome to the second of two collaborations between the New York Guitar Festival and my nightly new music program here at WNYC called New Sounds. Now, one of the, one of the branches of New Sounds that we do is um, a series of live performances. They don't usually take place here, but rather upstairs, in our regular live performance studio. And a few hours ago, I was there with the band La Luce, Seattle band, now based in LA. Uh, their guitarist, singer, and songwriter Shana Cleveland was leading that quartet in a series of pieces that had a kind of surf, guitar, psychedelic 60s kind of vibe. But she is one of the three musicians who will be uh, leading either solo or ensemble performances on this stage tonight. And I think what you're about to hear is going to sound rather different from what you would have heard this afternoon if you tuned in to our Soundcheck podcast with her band La Luce. Let's see what she's up to and what she's got for us tonight. Please welcome Shana Cleveland.
Shana Cleveland, and um, that's a song called Butter and Eggs. Uh, Shana, is that a new song? That's, that's a really old song. A really yeah. old song. But you've got a couple of new things that you'll be doing for us uh, on stage here tonight. Um, this afternoon with the band La Luce, we got to talking about, you know, 60s guitar, surf guitar, that, that kind of style, which is an electric guitar style. Did you grow up listening to the sort of acoustic finger style guitarists at the same time? Uh, not really. I, my parents are both blues musicians, but they played more electric blues. Uh, and so I thought that I kind of thought that I hated the blues for a while because I was just so tired of hearing their <laughs> bands practice. Um, but then when I got older, I started listening to more like Leighton and Hopkins and Jesse May Hempel. And, um, players like that and got more into like finger picking acoustic blues and and yeah so yeah I didn't really hear it much as a kid though yeah but as a performing musician those are two very different sound worlds that you inhabit you know the kind of the dreamy noirish surf music with La Luce this music much more rooted in it almost sounds like you know a John Fahey piece with vocals you know which is something he didn't do yeah yeah, I yeah I like John Fahey a lot. I listen to a lot of Fahey and Robbie Bashow and stuff like that. Right, the so-called American primitive style. Yeah. <laughs> which, you know, for people who've ever tried to play any of that stuff, it's pretty sophisticated music. It's the the most maddening thing about it is that there's no way to. Uh, I, I, at least for me, I don't I don't know how to read music. I don't write anything down, and so it's all muscle memory. And so uh, when I get f in front of a bunch of people and have to rely on my fingers to just magically do the right thing, it's, it's uh, terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit terrified right now, um, <laughs> especially since I've been playing so much electric guitar. But I, I, I find it really meditative to, to finger pick, and especially in open tunings, and um, just being able to let the, the strings ring, right. ring out, the open strings ring out. Um, so most of these songs require some retuning between. Yeah, between I'm gonna songs. I'm gonna do a little bit of of tuning. Uh, so bear with me. It'll be it'll be short. I'm used to doing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is my guitar that you're playing. When I get it back, w <laughs> will I recognize the tuning? <laughs> at all you actually yeah you will i'm gonna end in standard so you're, oh, you're gonna okay. get it all back right. <laughs> <laughs> just just as you gave it to me earlier all right well thanks for that um <laughs> so uh you do have uh, a record of this sort of stuff out yeah. um which came out just a couple of years ago right yeah with yeah. the sandcastles uh, yeah, yeah, I just, uh, Shana Cleveland and the Sandcastles, it was right. just sort of a, a name that I came up with for an uh, ever-changing cast of, of musicians. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to hear at least one song that's on that recording. Yeah, a few. A few. Uh, what about this next one, though? Uh, the next one, yeah, that's going to be on the recording, and then um, I'm also going to play a few songs that I've never played before in public, so that'll be, that'll be fun. <laughs> Terrifying, but fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah All you, right. only, you only live once, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, for those of you who are, who are fans of La Luce, they're performing tomorrow night at Public Arts at the Public Hotel on the Lower East Side. But here's Shana Cleveland to perform more music for us.
pushing around on the couch, on the stairs, on the ground. All that big blood is hard to settle down on the stairs, on the couch, on the ground. Oh, my love, you are nothing but found. And look at you now. So I uh, recently moved out to to the country, and I've been writing a lot of a lot of uh, instrumental songs. I'm gonna play a couple of them now. Just watching vultures fly by, playing guitar and open tuning. Oops, that one's weird.
just going to tune once more and play a few more songs. Um, thank you so much to my good buddy Fabi from She Shreds for asking me to play it today. She Shreds is the greatest magazine that has ever existed, <laughs> in my personal opinion. <laughs> Let's check it out. song's called Golden Days. Who can say what time is right? the country lengthwise looking for a solid scene this one's getting old gardeners in the shed they hide cross my feet they're sliding on by 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 if you're calling I can't hear I don't Wanna know Golden days run short <laughs> And strange you drive back home Where the air on the lake so cold stars appear I'll be there the street to lunch we'd go you know what I know who's calling you home golden days run short and 
I've always been here, stuck inside the wall I watch you breathe. You never noticed me at all, and when I come for you, it won't be fun. You can't call and you can't run. Nothing's the loudest sound in a house when no one's around. I get what I deserve, putting my body first. I just want to dedicate this last one to my Aunt Karen, who's here tonight.
Thank you, Shana. Shana Cleveland. <laughs> that last song called In Another Realm. And uh, we are about to hear a whole different sound world in this next set. In fact, each of the three artists on the program tonight has a very different sound. Uh, you'll get a chance to hear Fabi Reina and her Latina power trio, Savila, in just a little bit. But up next, and in fact, halfway up on stage already, is the guitarist and singer, Sterling Rhine. Hi, Sterling. Let me hand that to you. Why don't you come center stage? You're the center of attention, not me. Um, so first of all, your website describes what you do as soul folk. I hear a lot of jazz, especially in like the, the kind of chords that you, you tend to play on the guitar. What kind of music did you grow up with? Definitely a little bit of everything, really, um, from 80s rock and um, R&B to, um, yeah, like a lot of classical and jazz. A little bit of everything, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, did you play classical guitar? Um, I actually was raised playing classical piano, oh. but I, I picked up the guitar when I was about 17, which is when I started songwriting, and um, I just taught myself guitar. Mm -hmm. But um, I played piano and then violin when I was 12. Now, you grew up in Texas? Yeah. When did you start moving around? Um, I moved up to the East Coast here about eight years ago, and um, I've been in New York now for three years, so mm -hmm. yeah, I've been based here. And uh, the, the songs, as they've progressed over the years, have they gotten uh, more soul, less folk, or you know, how, how has it progressed? I don't know. I think it kind of goes back and forth, just depending on the song and the mood. I mean, today we'll play a song that's more folk, and then um, a lot of our set is based on jazz and yep. soul. Um, but yeah, it just kind of depends. Well, you know, that, that soul jazz thing that sort of became popular in the late 60s and then through the early first half of the 70s, you know, that's like the basis for so much classic hip-hop, you know, the, the mm -hmm. samples of people like Roy Ayers and, you know, all these soul jazz musicians. That was, uh, yeah. that's a kind of, people don't seem to re recall that that's a formative sound in, in modern American pop. Definitely. Did, yeah. Is that something that you kind of allude to? I mean, some of the voicings of the chords that you play seem to be getting into that area. Definitely. I mean, one of my biggest influences is Joni Mitchell, and um, oh, I mean, yeah. I, you know, I love her, like, alternate tunings, and one of my songs will have that tonight. And uh -huh. uh, 
So uh, now Shana was basically uh, retuning this guitar between every song. Yeah. Uh, will you be doing something similar? Um, well, I'll be playing a 12 string, which has different tuning, but um, everything on this guitar will be standard. Uh huh. Yeah. An electric 12 string, something yeah. you don't see all the time. <laughs> um, it's hard enough to keep six in tune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one of the songs you're going to do for us is Remedy. That's the, the latest single, right? Definitely. And is that about New York? It coming? is. It is. It's um, the first song I wrote when I moved here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the first song you're going to play for us is what? It's called With You. All right. And who is with you tonight? Um, I don't know. The... I mean, I mean, or literally. Who is, who me? is literally? Oh, with I thought you were you talking tonight. like existentially. <laughs> so we have Parker McAllister on bass. <laughs> this guy is like my brother. He's here from from Brooklyn, and then we have J.K. Kim here on drums. He's also bass here in Brooklyn. So these guys are great. All yeah. right. You don't need this, do you? No. So I'm maybe I will pass that <laughs> out of the way. Sweet. And. Um, clear the field so that we can hear some music from Sterling Rhine, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome.
Thank you. Everyone give it up for JK Kim on the drums.
by the iris of your stare Never long to care Paper thin, sink or swim I can still feel your whispers along my chin Paper thin, sinking in Lost you to the poison in your skin Where did you go, go, go So so much guys we have a couple more tunes for you
Thank you, guys. We have one more tune for you. It's called Shine. It's going to be out really soon, so uh, if you're interested, keep an eye out for it.
Nice set from Sterling Ryan. JK on the drums and uh, Parker reminding us that guys can shred too. <laughs> um, the next set, the final set on this New York Guitar Festival collaboration with New Sounds uh, features Fabi Reyna, who, as David Spellman mentioned at the beginning of our telecast, broadcast, whatever this is that we're doing, um, is our guest curator for this evening. So uh, Fabi is both the founder and the editor of the magazine She Shreds and is here tonight with her trio Savila. Uh, we'll get a chance to speak with her before the trio starts playing. So please welcome to the stage here at the Green Space, Fabi Reyna. Hi. Hi. Good to see you again. Hey, you too. Um, we had a great conversation last year as part of the New York Guitar Festival about She Shreds and, you know, the, the re reasons that you felt it was sort of a, there was a compelling need to, to start this magazine. But we can't assume that people have, like, gone on the website and listened to it. So Reader's Digest version, what is it that, that drove you to, to found this magazine? Um, I think that you're seeing it right now. You know, the fact that I get to sort of create a space for a community and for people to come together and all under the, the topic of musicians um, expressing and telling their truths and their perspective and, and especially women. Um, it's, that's the, really the sole reason why I believe that She Shreds needs to exist and it needs to exist as an example for how that can look in so many different spaces like the New York Guitar Festival. Right. So um, the trio that you've brought with you tonight, Savila, what does that name mean? Savila uh, means aloe vera, the aloe vera oh. plant. Yeah. And um, so I, I don't know how many Latinas and Latinos we have in here tonight. Just like, give me a little holler if, if that's you. <laughs> it's a little, ow! No, no one? OK. <laughs> OK, there we go. We have a couple, a couple. So if you were like, if you were born or you have Mexican parents that you know that your mom put savila on everything uh -huh. you know you, you're sick you have savila you have a cut it's savila you're sunburned savila so it's a real like healing element it's a healing plant and it's so for, for us um we um are all root we have all have roots in mexico and for and there's a lot of healing having to do with um latinos and latinas and immigrants and and it, it really inspired us to start just telling our experience. Now, uh, yeah. you started uh, She Shreds and presumably this trio a, a while back. Well, uh, I started She Shreds five years ago. Yeah. So we're five years in, and, and, and actually, I, I didn't actually play guitar for four of those years. Really? Because I was so consumed in creating this magazine and creating this space. And I'm really, you know, we're new. We're a year and a half in, but I've never, it's just, it has made me so, so happy to be able to, not just be able to play guitar again, but to be able to relate to the musicians that I care so much about in the community in this way, in this way that's like, I, you know, yes, I thought I got it when I started the magazine, but I get it even more now that I get to experience the struggles and the triumphs of being an artist. Right. And has being a Latina artist changed in the last year and a half? Well, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying not to provoke a political discussion sure. here, but but certainly, you know, the the there there's been a, a kind of a I don't know the the lens through which our yeah. society views Mexican immigration has Absolutely. been changed, and, and just um, not just Mexicans, but you know, people of color and women of color and. African American women and, and Latina women and Ecuadorian women, you know, and Puerto, Puerto Rican women. It's it's so I start. I guess I sort of what what really drives me to do the things that I do, whether it's as my career or as an artist and a hobby, is to see what I don't is to be what I don't see. So I am up here playing guitar, and I'm very vocal about being Latin. I'm very vocal about being queer and a woman because I don't see that every day. I don't see that being being. Um, showcased and celebrated and you know I need I know that it's it's a little bit weird that I am curating this event and I'm also playing it 
But I hope that, you know, there are some, whether you're Latinx or not, that you are inspired to, um, to nurture that community. Yeah. And when you say community, I, I, I read something stunning just recently, you know, uh, with the World Cup coming and the American team not there. People have been saying, well, let's root for the other American team, Mexico. And <laughs> the thing is, there are apparently 35 million people in America. That's 11% of our population who are either Mexican or identify as Mexican-American. Yeah. That's a huge number of people quote unquote hiding in plain sight. Well, and I'm sure that most of us here don't really even know Spanish. You know, a lot of Mexican, and again, not just Mexican, but any Latinx um, kind of third generation or second generation, some of us don't even know Spanish. You mm -hmm. know, we, we were raised to not know that language. And I hope that one of my hopes as coming up on stage and, and expressing myself with my bandmates is to be able to empower other people to celebrate their own culture. Right. Now, in your music, um, you do refer to it. I mean, Savila is not just the name of the band. It's also the name of the one of the songs. And there's also a cumbia, which is a very infectious uh, Latin American rhythm. It's a little, di the cumbia in Mexico is a little yeah. different from what you would get in Colombia, right? The cumbia in so many regions is different from every region you know it's it's that was, we can never come up here and claim the cumbia genre because the cumbia, cumbia is like saying rock and roll there's so mm -hmm. many different yep. types of rock and roll and you know i guess we're still figuring out what the hell we're, we are you know it's like we're just up here in we, we kind of we, we grew up listening t to cumbias to sonideras to boleros and and you know we can s stand up here and claim that it's cumbia but it's not and it's hard to describe it because none of us really know it. None of us listen to it in our daily lives. But I will tell you that the cumbia that I'm very much obsessed with and that I, I really, my guitar playing is inspired by is chicha. Right. It's um, Peruvian um, 60 psychedelic that has really come up. And I think um, it's, it's, there's also a big movement of that in New York. So yep. um, yeah. And yeah. so I think hopefully you'll hear a little bit of that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And chicha is, that's the boom, chicha, boom, chicha, boom, that, that kind of it's rhythm. Like, it's like, it's almost, it's like, yeah, it's very, it's a little faster than that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially as you guys play it. All right, um, so I know you have some tech stuff to, yeah. to deal with, so. Yeah, bear with me, I'm going to be like 3.5 minutes. Okay, I'll be timing you. I <laughs> Fabi Reina will be joined here on stage by the rest of the, uh, the trio Sevilla, which includes uh, Brisa Gonzalez on vocals and uh, Papi Fimbres behind the drum kit. And uh, while they're setting up, let me just um, ask you, uh, if you don't already, to follow us on Instagram, at New Sounds. Like us on Facebook, some of you are watching us that way right now. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And as for She Shreds, we have also been kind of experimenting with uh, streaming this live on Instagram at uh, She Shreds Mag, which is their Instagram handle. Um, Fabi mentioned that she's been really busy with the magazine this event here tonight is just the first of a trio of She Shreds events. Um, there will be a concert tomorrow evening at Union Pool in Brooklyn that will feature Hannah Murphy, Eliza Carrington, Sus Vasquez, and this trio, Savila. And then they're on to uh, Austin, Texas the night after that, and then wrapping up in uh, She Shreds' hometown of Portland, Oregon. But for tonight, they're here in New York with us in the Jerome L. Green Foundation Green Space, our ground floor performance studio here at New York Public Radio. And once things are all squared away, we'll hear the, uh, the song, Savila, from the trio, Savila.
cables ended up like all over the <laughs> state.
Fabi Reina and Savila. What a great sound that is, and what a great way to wrap up this collaboration between New Sounds and the New York Guitar Festival. I want to thank uh, the staff here at the Green Space. Great to work with, as always. Thanks to all of you for being here. Highlights from what you've just seen and heard on this stage tonight will be uh, made available later on as part of our free Soundcheck podcast. You can get all the details and see what else is going on at our website, which is newsounds.org. I'm John Schaefer. Thank you again, again for being here. And those of you watching us on Facebook or however you're seeing us, our Instagram, all the different social media, thank you for joining us as well. Good night. Thank you.